Lauren! Lauren, where are you? Lauren, I just went down to the parish, and Patricia told me that you openly denied Christ during sermon today? What were you thinking? No, 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 no. We could find a way out of this, okay? We we could tell the pastor you you, you took the wrong elixir, right? You, you 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 were out of your mind. You didn't know what you were saying. I can't do that. Shut, 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 shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! Say Christ is Lord! Say Christ is Lord! Say it! You say Christ is Lord! I'm sorry, but you know I can't do that. Get out! Get out! Get out! 24 years, 24 long years I spent with that woman. But here in his holy book, Antonius 1842, a man is only as strong as the woman beside him. Do not fear, Christ. I shall take up my blade once more and do your bidding. I, Paul Harrison Lennon, shall find a way. In the glory of the kingdom of heaven, in Christ's name, we pray. <sighs> How glorious is ye works, almighty Father. But at the foot of the Lamb of God lays the fruits we shall pick and cherish. And oh my, <laughs> there is one. Wow. Now if that ain't a babe. All right, Paul, shake it off. Let's go find ourselves a wife. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. I'm so sorry. I hate to bother you. I, nice to meet you. My name is Paul Harrison Lennon. No relation to John. Complete relation to Vladimir, if you get what I'm saying. I'm just kidding. That's a little bit of a capitalism joke there. Anyway, I I wanted to ask you, beautiful lady, have you ever heard of the Ten Commandments? Yes, I am familiar with the Ten Commandments. Why do you ask? Well, have you ever heard about the Eleventh? That's where you come home with me. Stop right there. Criminal Scott. What? That's not funny or appropriate, and I'm offended by your comments. No, 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 no. I... please leave me alone. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, wow. I am very out of practice. <laughs> Let's hope I don't go to jail. Now that... <laughs> That is the figure of an angel. How you doing? My name's John Harrison. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Hello, John. My name is Alfield. It's nice to meet you as well. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Would you like to come visit our farm sometime? Perhaps you could help us out with some chores or enjoy a meal with us. I'm not interested in doing any work right now. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm on a sacred, sacred mission from Christ himself, the only son of the begotten father, to find a wife. Do you know where I can find a wife or do you want to marry me? A sacred mission, huh? Well, I wish you the best of luck with that. As for a wife, I don't believe I am romantically compatible with you. See, I am already married with a family of my own. I apologize. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. Goodbye. It's all right. It's all right. I'm out of touch. Lauren's got me all like fucked up in there. Maybe I'm, I'm I'm looking at it all wrong. You know, when translated into English, the Spanish verse Ronaldinho 1744 actually reads: When Elias was digging in mud for flowers, he doth not think, but dig in dirt instead. I remember Counselor Derek talking about this like it was yesterday. So maybe this land has been soiled by devil. I might have encountered Lauren on these streets, but the truth of the matter is, is that the city's gone dark. Maybe I need to find some place. Holy, I need to go somewhere fresh, some place new, some place like Yes! Yes! Thank you, Father. Thank you for showing me this fish. I shall continue my journey serving your name in solid. Vivienne, <laughs> how you doing? Listen, um, do you mind if I talk to you for a second? Of course not. What's on your mind? Truth be told, I saw you across the courtyard here, and you know, I, I just had to talk to you. I had this this vision last night that I was gonna meet the love of my life today, and when I saw you, I mean, it was just like like lightning struck the tip of my penis. You know, it, it, it was the Lord, our heavenly Father, telling me like, hey, nope. go talk to this girl. You know, here, I'll walk you to class. I am flattered, but I am unfortunately not the one you are looking for. It's more than that, my sweet. I think that you are going to be my wife. I think you misunderstand. I'm afraid I'm quite devoted to my work at the shop and taking care of my aunt. I'm so glad to hear, you know, I, I always knew my wife would be a hardworking servant of the Lord. I wish you the best in your search for your future wife. <laughs> you're not, you're, you're not getting me, okay? This is the future that, that our Lord has written out for us. I, I am trying to help you have a gorgeous I... life together, okay? The, the Lord wills it. I appreciate your persistence, but I must insist that we move on. You haven't even given it a chance. 
chance. <laughs> I'm talking crazy here. You're a devout woman, right? You're a follower of God. You're one of the children, the Lamb of God, of course. I think you're overwhelmed and confused. I'm only a simple merchant, not a disciple. I hope you could see things through my eyes. You know, I, I just must not be doing a good job of explaining it. This is the will of God, and my job as his paladin is to ensure that the will of God is spread throughout all of these lands. Are you saying that you're a heretic? I'm sorry, but our paths don't seem to cross that way. I will ask you one last time. Do you deny the orderings of the Almighty Father? I made my stance clear, and any further attempts to convince me otherwise will be met with force. So, you admit it. Heretic! I shall strike you down by the gods! Almighty Fury! In nomine Patri, it's Fili! It's Spiritus Santi! This child is the consequence of denying the one true God, the one true Lord! You shall witness this and learn! Heretics! All of you heretics! I shall not let this stand! Uh. Ah. Fury! The fury of Jerusalem seeds me! I shall kill every man, woman, and child who dare stand in the way of the Lord! The fury of Christ cannot be escaped! Where are you? Bless me, Almighty Father, for heaven and earth surrounds me, and I am your humble servant. Child of heaven! Run away, child! But God's fury will not yield! Let ye be warned! The fate that befalls any naysayers and heretics. Oh, sweet Holy Mother, rain your sins May upon me and let me wash them clean tracks. in the flames and the fire of Jesus Christ. In my Lord he prays. Amen. Oh, oh Father, Father! What can I do for you on these glorious days? Oh, Father, I come in heavy, burdened with sin. Please, you have quick time for confession? Of course, my son. My door is always open to those seeking forgiveness. Please share your confession with me and allow Stendar's grace to guide you back onto the righteous path. Father, I come to you pained. I, I've killed again. Not since the Crusades have I torn down another man, but they were heretics! Heretics! They were saying nothing to devilries! Couldn't let it stand. I understand your struggle, my son. While it is not my place to pass judgment on those who have fallen from the path of righteousness, it is my duty to offer forgiveness when it is sought. Please, Almighty Father, bless me. Tear me down of my sin so that I can be free once more. Free to find a wife in the name of the Holy Spirit. Please. Us of our, the rites of confession and absolution are an important part of finding solace in the eyes of the gods. As your priest, it is my duty to guide you through this process. Please kneel and recite after me. I come before you filled with shame and regret. I have sinned against my brethren and committed acts of violence in thy name. Please wash away my sins and grant me the strength to walk the righteous path. May my actions reflect thy divine light and bring honor to thy faithful servant. Once you have finished the prayer, Place your hands together and bow your head in humility. The burden of guilt may weigh heavy, but confession and absolution offer a chance at redemption and a fresh start. Thank you, Father. Steps Lord, Heavenly Father, Christ. cleanse me of my sins. I feel reborn anew in your name. I shall now venture forth unto your great blessings and find a wife suitable for taking care of my baby daughters, Lydia, Becca. You are forgiven, my son. All right, now I feel great. Let's go get ourselves a wife. Okay, this looks real cozy. Looks real nice. Oh, who is that? Hi, hi, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to burst in there. It's just, I walked in. I saw you walking past me. One of my favorite verses came to mind. Antonio 1715. Are you familiar with it? I'm afraid I'm not. Can you recite it for me? A woman as divine as the Blessed Mother is herself is shown glory in God's mercy. Ah, quite a romantic verse. What does that mean to you? I'm so glad you asked. The real secret of God's beauty is not physical beauty, but the beauty of her faith and willingness to serve spirit. the Lord. What a beautiful interpretation, stranger. Oh, I must stop. confess my faith is not as strong as yours, but it always warms my heart to see others find solace in it. I didn't know that you had struggled 
struggled within your faith. But it seems God has put me here in front of you today. It's time that you and I got to know each other. You know, I've always believed that there's beauty in everything, even if it's hidden initially. And sometimes it takes someone special to reveal it to us. I completely agree. I I'm so glad to have met you, Julianne. And I have to get back to work, but I think this conversation has been enlightening for both of us. Do you mind if I maybe came back after you got off work and maybe you and I could share a drink of, of water and a slice of bread, maybe some wine? Maybe this could be one of those moments for both of us. Well, it's a date then. I'll be back in a few hours when you get off work and we'll talk more about the Lord and beauty of the world and his creations and I, I couldn't be more excited. What's up, Jules? You just getting off work? That's right. I was just finishing up my chores. I think this place is really, really cool, Julian. I'm glad you brought me here. Well, a toast to you and to me. Um, sorry. A toast to you and to me. We've kind of really hit it off, right? I really feel like this is something in God's will. You know, she is on this journey to find God. I know God, and my journey is to spread the word of the Lord. Heavens be unto him. And then, also, I need a wife. I think you're quite charming, Paul. Oh, Let's stop. see where this divine connection leads us. I think I know exactly where this divine connection should lead us. Julianne, you oh. sweet woman, would you do me the honors of marrying Marrying me in the name of Jesus Christ and the Heavenly Father. You would make me the happiest Christian anyone's ever seen. Would it be acceptable if we took some time to get to know each other better before making any decision? What, what, what more is there to do? You have been chosen by Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit to marry me. Please, perhaps you drank too much. No. I thought we agreed to take our time getting to know each other. We did! I'm just saying, you should marry me. This isn't that hard of a decision to make. Paul, please calm down. I am Come! As for your proposal, I need some time to think and pray about it. Of course. I know. We all we all need to pray. I'm sorry for my outburst. I'll, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow at, at work. Have, have a good night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, it's good to see you. Have you had any more time to pray and think? Yes, I'm glad to see you too. And no, I haven't had much time to pray and think. I apologize, but I've been quite busy with work. I mean, how much how much time is enough time? Just, just if, if, if it's a no, just tell me now. Will you marry me? Yes or no? That's it. I don't want another word from you besides a yes or a no. If all you want is a quick answer, then no. I will not marry you. I'm sorry for having taken your time. I, I will leave you alone for now. God, why have you forsaken me? Do I not live to serve you? <laughs> why do you curse me? I know. It is all a test. It is all a test. Jesus Christ, only son of the Gotten Father, in your name I pray. I find a wife, so help me. Good girl. So this is it, huh? Markarth, a true pit of Satan. Drunks, whores, concubines, beggars. This city has strayed far from the workings of Christ. Good evening, young lady. Good evening to you as well. How can I be of service to you? I'm an apothecary's assistant here at the Hag's Cure. If you need any potions or ingredients, I'd be happy to help you find what you're looking for. I have no use for your silly sex potions. That devilry is of no use to me. My apologies for the misunderstanding. There is nothing to apologize about. I should be the one apologizing. F for forgive me. I've just had a very long road. In that case, perhaps you would like some rest before resuming your journey? Greatly appreciated. Tell me, what is your name? My my name is Muiri. A gorgeous name. My name is Paul Harrison Lennon. No relation to John, full relation to Vladimir. Would you happen to be a Christian? Yes, I follow the Lord of Light, but I is can see so? why you may have thought that. That is wonderful to hear. Absolutely wonderful to hear. You must tell me of your faith. It's been tested many times, but I try to keep it strong. That I can absolutely understand. My life has been nothing but one test after the next, after the next, after the next. Every test from the Almighty Father and the Holy Spirit has brought me one step closer to God. When I meet Christians like yourselves, that it's all worth it. I'm sorry to hear about the challenges you faced on your journey, but it's true that sometimes we need to go through hardship in order to grow stronger in our faith. Absolutely. You're right. Meeting others who share our beliefs can be a source of comfort and encouragement. Mary, I might be out of line here, but as a woman is beautiful, devoted, 
devoted and pure as yourself. Ever think about humbling a servant of the Lord like myself for a small date, for a bite of bread, or a sip of wine? I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in that kind of arrangement. I'm here to serve Bozella and tend to the shop. I can understand that. The thing is, my beautiful Muri, is that the Lord speaking to me right now. The Lord tells me that you and I have a future together. My beautiful Miri, do you trust in the Lord? Yes, I do, but I also believe that we need to make our own choices and follow our own paths. But is not the path that the Lord wills the righteous path? I believe that the Lord guides us toward righteousness, but ultimately, it's up to us to choose our own path. Then let us take action. My beautiful Muri, marry me under the heavenly light of the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, make me a true man of faith, and I shall promise you I shall be a servant of your faith. I'm honored, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for marriage right now. Fine. <laughs> Forgive me, I uh, don't know what I was thinking. I just uh, <laughs> Sometimes the Lord can be confusing, and I'm sorry that I wasted your time. If you ever need someone to talk to about your faith or anything else, feel free to come back and visit. No, I don't think I will. Wait! You know what? Maybe we do take it slow. We can get to know each other better without any expectations or stress. How would you feel about grabbing a cup of meat at the marketplace later today? I don't drink alcohol. Some wine could be nice. You know, I was thinking that maybe I misread God's works and that maybe I'm the one that needs to change and that maybe having a good, decent, caring Christian woman by your side like yourself, Muri, is more than enough for a man to live out God's will. Muri, I vow to you that I will take it slow and I will learn to love you as a sister in Christ before anything else. There's no need to rush into anything when it comes to matters of the heart. As for you cutting away your weapon, I understand your intention, but I also feel more at ease knowing you have protection in case anything were to happen. Please feel free to keep it with you if it makes you feel safer. I think you're right. After my... Recent experiences, I've learned that this blade is as much part of me as the nails on Jesus Christ's hands are a part of him. What's up, you Chad Pole? Thank you so much for watching my video. Throw the video a like if you enjoyed it, and remember to hit that motherfucking subscribe button.